Amid the changing TV landscape and the rise of digital platforms, let's get an update on the state of the cable TV business with Leon Lazaroff, Deputy Managing Editor of The Street. And Leon, you wrote a great article, it's up right now on thestreet.com, about A&E networks, which also includes A&E, History Channel, and some other cable networks. They're worried about the fraying of the TV bundle. Why is that? Well, a and &E is in a difficult position because they're spending a lot of money on original programming. At the same time, they're seeing TV ad sales are declining. So they're trying to figure out just where they want to be. And what they'd like to be is in a smaller bundle. They feel like, hey, if we can get into a 30-channel bundle rather than a 150-channel bundle, we'll be in a lot better position. All right, now networks like HBO, Nickelodeon, Showtime, are actually going direct to consumers, but A&E doesn't want to do that. Why is that? Well, A&E is, is, is also in an interesting position that way as well, because what they don't want to do is to cause the unbundling of the bundle, right? And they're already in the bundle. They get a good amount of money from that. And if they were to move their channels in something similar to, say, Viacom is doing with Nickelodeon or Time Warner with HBO and CBS with Showtime, they could be in a position where they would cannibalize their own relationships that they have with pay TV operators. So they don't want to do that. What they would like to do is to take so actually 11,000 hours that they tell me of a library of all sorts of film and, and basically put something out there. So they could do something such as a, a focus on war, you know, what, which the History Channel has hours and hours of specials on war. And you could do something along those lines. That's something that the CEO, Nancy Dubuque, has talked about. All right, are we, are we seeing more buzz in the digital space because a growing number of consumers are doing way away with the traditional cable TV subscriptions? Well, yeah, I mean, absolutely. What you've seen already is Dishes Sling TV seems to be doing well. There's going to be a lot of, of, of focus on whatever Sony does with its station, PlayStation View, uh, which is coming later this year. So those are two really interesting options. And whether or not they catch on will be, will be something that everybody will be watching. If indeed they catch on too much, a lot of folks might try to pull back on that because they don't want to hurt the bundle as, as much as, as, it, as it already is fraying. What's interesting to look at longer term is that the TV bundle isn't going anywhere. It's, Comcast, for instance, has about 22 million subscribers. They're losing maybe 80, 100,000 a quarter. That's not a lot. So it's still a good business, and everybody who's involved in media wants to keep that going. Having said that, you are seeing some different options, and that's probably what a lot of folks are going to be watching over the next year. All right, Leon, we'll leave it there. Leon Lazaroff, Deputy Managing Editor of The Street. Thanks for all that insight. Thank you, Scott. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.